That one's way more powerful, but yeah. Sorry, it's not your fault. No, it's not. No, I'm not. And salty. <laughs> Good afternoon, it is Alex here with Lane Vista Aquascapes. We are out here in Medford, New Jersey because my dad and I were out here yesterday doing a service call because we had a client that had some sick fish. So we did a, a quick scrape on it. So basically what you do with that is you take the little microscope slides, scrape a little bit behind the gills and behind the tail fin. And unfortunately and fortunately, we were able to find parasites so we actually know what the issue was. So we found both Costia and Kiladinella. So what we are doing is we are out here adding salt to the pond and I'm just going to show you guys a really quick and easy way to add salt. We use two different methods um, depending on the amount of salt that we're actually adding. So I'll flip you around and I'll show you what we got going on. This is my dad Ray as, as many of you know. <laughs> so this is the the quick and easy small amount. So we've got a cement mixing bit that we just added to a regular drill. So you just drop that and the salt right into a bucket. And that mixes it up really, really great. This method is really easy because it's really portable and you can you mix pretty much any dry media and you're gonna to wanna to pour that salt into the edge of the pond, not directly into the skimmer because you don't wanna knock out any of the bacteria in the biofalls. So we pour it right on the edge. So then the other way, um, the way that I usually prefer to do on larger ponds, especially like this one, is I will take a tote or you can use a Rubbermaid uh, like 100 gallon or even 300 gallon tub to mix all the salt up. So this is just one of the standard little Rubbermaid things you can get at Walmart. We are using this Morton Pure Natural Water Softener Crystals. Make sure that if you're getting a water softening salt that it doesn't have any uh, de-rusting agents or anything like that because that's additional things can actually harm your fish. Make sure that it is only salt. You can also use the Aquascape pond salt that is specifically formulated for ponds. We actually use that during clean out season because it's a finer crystal and it mixes way, way better. So it's basically like you dump it in and it'll dissolve almost immediately. For this, you actually have to mix it. Otherwise you'll get big, big crystals that won't dissolve in the water. And then you'll think that you're at the right salinity and it'll jump up in a couple hours when it dissolves. We'll dump the salt right into here. The whole thing, son? Uh, okay. Not necessarily the whole thing. Just about that much. And then we'll take our pump. So you can use any pump. We're just using a, a sump pump that we took from, I don't even remember where we got this. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's just kind of a, a hand-me-down pump we had laying around that we use on things like this but you can use pretty much anything you can use an aqua surge you can use a little mag drive doesn't matter as long as it gets some decent flow and then you just plug that guy in let it circulate for like five ten minutes and then once you see that it's clear you can add a little bit more salt so you can get basically hyper saline water and then unplug the pump plug a hose in drop that right in the pond and then you'll have saline water going right into the pond. Another thing I wanted to mention real quick is we use pumps that we're not going to primarily use. Like we wouldn't use a clean out pump on this because salt is really, really harsh on pumps, especially metal ones because it'll corrode everything down. And especially since this is basically saline, a saline slush, it's going to eat away at all those pieces. So you're going to want to use a pump that you're not going to primarily use in a pond application or that you're gonna use regularly. I personally think this works a little bit better than a bucket method or, you know, adding straight into the pond or hand mixing or anything. Because basically it's a little bit hands off. It mixes a lot more all at once. And then you can basically titrate how much you're adding. So you can add a little bit of the hyper saline water that's already mixed. You don't have to wait for it to mix in the pond with all the, the smaller crystals. So basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is when you add the salt in, you do it in stages. So you'll add the salt in, wait about 10 minutes, and then you're gonna take your, we use the Koi Medic uh, salt meter. 
and usually where I will test first is right in front of the skimmer opposite of where I was adding so right now you can see the salinity is at 0.022 so we are shooting for 0.03 today which is a safe medicated dose we won't be bringing it up to 0.6 today because that is way too much of a jump from zero all the way to 0.6. The other cool thing about us adding salt is we can actually calculate the exact amount of water in here. So I'll throw the formula up here and you basically just plug in how much salt you added and what your final amount of salinity is and then it'll kick out and it'll give you a gallons of volume of water that you have in your pond. So it's been about five-ish minutes, five, ten minutes. So I'll test again right in front of this area. Up a little bit at 0.024. I'll go and test another edge over here while the salt is mixing. Test in front of the second skimmer. We've got 0.025 over on this edge where we added the salt we're at about 0.324 all right so we're staying stable at about 0.25 so i'm going to go ahead and kick this pump on and drop some saline water in so i took that same pump that we had mixing the salt hooked up a hose fortunately because it's a regular sump pump a regular hose fits onto it and then just going to go over here that's the aerator gonna go over here and I'm gonna plug that guy in and then that'll add the saline water right into the pond like I said you want it more on the edge so it has some amount to diffuse before it actually gets into the skimmer and the biofalls because you don't want to shock the system too much most of the bacteria can handle salt but a high high concentration like this is going to be a little bit too harsh on it and of course, this method of mixing salt is scalable, so you can do it in really, really large volumes. When I used to work for an aquarium service, we had big mixing tanks that we mixed up 3,000 gallons of salt water at a time with an external pump, and it was all plumbed with like four inch lines. So you can go all the way up to that scale, and even like aquariums use this as well, and then, you know, all the way down to a tub size. So it's a really, really neat. Thing that you can do to mix up salt real quick so you can dose into a pond safely. So you can see at the bottom here there is still a little bit of salt. We will add some more pond water into this and mix it up just to get the, the re remaining bits of that. But the good thing is that all of this water is going to be really hyper saline so I can actually show you that real quick. These koi meters don't go really high. They won't actually go up to like uh, like you would see in a reef tank or anything but you can see when you drop that into the water it just reads lines which means that it's actually way higher than this thing can read and then if I test right in front of where the saline water is coming out like I said it wasn't reading in the thing but we'll see if it can read in front yeah you so you can see it's reading about 0.048 right here right in front of where that's dumping into the pond but if I go over to the far side to this other skimmer and I read in front of that let's see we've got a reading of about 0.026 which means that it is dispersing into the water because we were at 0.25 before we were adding over there so we should be coming up pretty soon all right so this is the skimmer right here the skimmer is right in front of where we were dumping the salt so that goes to this biofall. I'll check the level on that. We are at about 0.34 on this one. So as to be expected, all of the saline water circulating in here and diluting out through the biofall. And then if we go over here to this other smaller biofall that is fed by that skimmer, we check the level on that one. We're at about 0.29. So you take the average of those two, 
right around 30. So pretty much hit our mark. And I just want to say real quick, don't be afraid of salt. I know a lot of people just like dump a little bit of salt being afraid that it's going to turn it to like salt water levels, but it's, it's not harsh. It's hard to overdose it because the amount of salt that you put in, you're gonna think is a lot, but it's really not. Um, if you're on a smaller scale, of course, be cautious. But if it's your first time doing it, do it slowly and then just check it as you go. And I cannot recommend enough getting a Koi Medic salt meter for a pond. They are absolutely great. You hit a button, it tells you what the salinity is. So it takes all the guesswork out of either reading hydrometer or a refractometer or you know even a, a digital refractometer where they're a little bit bulky to carry and they're super accurate but it's more on the salt side this quick and easy you dip it tells you what the reading is and it's just cannot recommend it enough so that's about going to do it for today uh, like i said we're only getting it up to 0.3 we're going to get out of here like i said we got it up to about 0.3 so that's all that we're going to do for today. It's a little bit fast, but it's, we've seen that it's pretty safe to bring it up at least point or at most to like 0.3. We don't want to, I definitely don't want to jump it up to 0.6, but we'll come back out, raise it up to 0.6 and then leave that for a couple of weeks before we do the clean out. So what we're actually going to do is we will schedule their clean out for this pond a little bit sooner than usual so that we can drop that salinity level back down to 0.3 to the maintenance dose because 0.6 isn't harmful to the fish. It's actually really beneficial. Like I said, it's gonna knock out all those parasites, but it can be a little harsh on the plants and other, uh, other things in the pond, like the bacteria load, and uh, it can throw some of the algae and stuff out of whack. So definitely don't wanna keep it up at that level, but like I said, we'll come in do the clean out and then get it all up and running. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't like it, you know, hit the dislike button. It's not going to hurt my feelings. And then leave a comment. You know, how are you guys treating fish? Are you treating fish at all? And then, you know, subscribe. Check out our other videos. This season's going to be really great because we're going to have a lot, a lot of content. We're really excited for the 2021 season. So stay tuned for that.